Hello everyone. You are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x minus 2 whole to the power 4 plus x minus 3 whole cubed plus x minus 4 whole squared is equal to 2. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. x minus 2 whole to the power 4 plus we can write this x minus 3 as x minus 2 minus 1 whole cubed plus we can write this x minus 4 as x minus 2 minus 2 whole squared is equal to 2. Now, here we have x minus 2, here we have x minus 2 and here we have x minus 2. So, we suppose that let x minus 2 is equal to m. So, this equation will become m to the power 4 plus m minus 1 whole cubed plus m minus 2 whole squared is equal to 2. Now, this 2, this 2 is same as 1 plus 1. So, we can write at left hand side negative 1 and negative 1. We write this m to the power 4 as m squared whole squared minus 1 plus this m minus 1 whole cubed plus m minus 2 whole squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this one is same as 1 squared and this one is same as 1 squared. So, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This m squared squared minus 1 squared will become m squared plus 1 times m squared minus 1 plus this m minus 1 whole cube remains same m minus 1 whole cubed plus by using this algebraic identity this uh, m minus 2 whole squared minus 1 squared will become m minus 2 plus 1 times m minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 0 x m squared plus 1 times this one is same as 1 squared. So, by using this algebraic identity this m squared minus 1 squared will become m plus 1 times m minus 1 plus this m minus 1 whole cubed can be written as m minus 1 whole squared times m minus 1 plus m this uh, negative 2 plus 1 will become negative 1 times this m minus 2 minus 1 will become m minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression m minus 1, this expression m minus 1, this expression m minus 1 is a common factor. So, we factor out this m minus 1. The in bracket left, uh, bracket left this uh, m squared plus 1 times m plus 1 plus m minus 1 squared and plus uh, m minus 3. In bracket left, uh, m squared plus uh, 1 times m plus 1 plus m minus 1 whole squared plus m minus 3 is equal to 0. Next, 
m minus 1 times m squared plus 1 times m plus 1 plus uh, we expand this uh, x minus 1 whole squared this will become m squared minus 2 times m plus 1 squared is 1 plus uh, this m minus 3 m minus 3 is equal to 0 x m minus 1 times m squared plus uh, 1 times m plus 1 plus uh, this m squared minus 2 m minus 2 m plus this m and 1 minus 3 will become minus 2 is equal to 0 x m minus 1 times m squared plus 1 times m plus 1 from these two terms uh, we can factor out n plus m as common factor in bracket left uh, m minus 2 and from these two terms uh, we can factor out 1 plus 1 as common factor in bracket left uh, m minus 2 is equal to 0 next m minus 1 times m squared plus 1 times m plus uh, 1 now this m minus 2 this m minus 2 is a common factor so we factor out m minus 2 and in bracket left this m and this plus 1 in bracket left m plus 1 next m minus 1 times no from inside the parenthesis we can factor out this m plus 1 so m plus uh, 1 as common factor and uh, in bracket left uh, bracket left uh, this m squared plus 1 plus m minus 2 in bracket left uh, m squared plus uh, 1 plus m minus 2 is equal to 0 next m minus 1 times m plus 1 times m squared plus m this 1 minus 2 will become minus 1 is equal to 0 now from here either this expression m minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression m plus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus uh, m minus 1 is equal to 0 from this equation we get the value of m is equal to 1 and from this equation we get the value of m is equal to negative 1 and uh, from this quadratic equation according to quadratic formula m is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write 1 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write negative 1 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1 next m is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of this 1 squared is 1 negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 is plus 4 so 1 plus 4 will become 5 divided by 2 so we have three values of m m is equal to negative 1 and m is equal to positive 1 now to find the values of x recall that we have supposed 
we have supposed that x minus 2 is equal to m. We have supposed that x minus 2 is equal to m. So, when m is equal to 1, then this equation will become x minus 2 is equal to 1. Move this negative 2 to the right hand side, this will become x is equal to 1 plus 2 and x is equal to 3. This is the first value of x, this is the first solution of this equation. Now, when m is equal to negative 1, then this equation will become x minus 2 is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to negative 1 plus 2 x is equal to 1. This is the second value of x, this is the second solution of this equation. Now, when m is equal to this expression, then this equation will become x minus 2 is equal to negative 1 plus minus root 5 over 2. We move this negative 2 to the right hand side and this will become x is equal to negative 1 plus minus root 5 over 2. This negative 2 will become plus 2 at right hand side. X, x is equal to, we can write the denominator of this to 1 and we take LCM of this 1 and this 2. The LCM is 2. So, this expression will come here negative 1 plus minus root 5 and 2 divided by 1 is 2, 2 times this 2 plus 4. Next, x is equal to this negative 1 plus 4 will become 3 plus minus root 5 divided by 2. This is the third and fourth value of x. So, we have four solutions of this equation.